air roll when you're doing an aerial. The advantage of air roll when you're doing an aerial. Just to give you like different angles. Like some aerials, if you're trying to hit the ball on target and you try to lean into it with the front of your car, you just have to think a bit more about how to hit the power shot. But if you fly into it upside down, I don't know, it's just a bit more intuitive. Like there's more surfaces of the car that actually count as a power shot when you're upside down. Like the roof of your car hits the ball harder than the belly of your car. So if you're upside down, you don't have to worry about ever hitting the car. Hitting the car? Hitting the ball with the belly of the car and getting a really slow shot. Obviously that's only if you want a powerful shot. Sometimes you do want a slow shot because the angle is more important than the um, the power. Like here, you might actually want to hit it slowly because you just want to place it. But um, at other times you want to like hit it as powerfully as possible. And like using the Using the underside of the car is more consistent for power, usually. It's not always the case. Sometimes um, people like to take off backwards because it just gets them up into the air quicker as well. Like if you're taking off forwards for this shot, for example, like I'm going to do a lot of air steering to reach the ball there. But if I just take off backwards and air roll, like it's much more natural um, path to the ball because you can like turn and continue boosting and keep going up the whole time. See, I'm like even flying over the ball, but if I fly forwards, have to, yeah, it's much slower basically. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it's much slower. Like, look at this uh, aerial here. This is so slow. It's so slow because I'm having to steer midair. Air steering is not as useful as like uh, air rolling while steering at the same time. It's just faster. I mean, right now we're steering and air rolling at the same time. So obviously we're getting way more rotation in the car. We're getting to the ball way quicker. And then we can hit the ball harder as a result. See this? I'm arriving at the ball much faster than we did earlier, hitting the ball harder than we did earlier. Um, whereas if you just kind of fly forwards, I don't know, you're, you're, take, you're limiting yourself in what you can do, really. You're limiting yourself. But I'd say, like, if you can learn how to air roll, it also kind of, it makes aerials easier in the long run because it's harder to basically mess up the power on an aerial when you're upside down than it is when you're forwards. Also makes you harder to read, I would say. But the, okay, here's something actually that I'm really bad at is I'm really bad at air rolling to the to this side. I am awful, in fact, at air rolling to the to the right mid aerial. So this is something if I was trying to get better at Rocket League, I would grind this. I would try and get better at this because this is something I'm terrible at. I've put way more hours into air rolling to the left than I have to the right. Is an interesting one though. So. 7th shot in Whey Protein's Air Roll Aerials pack. Like, it just, it's a, it's a weird one to, to try because, funnily enough, contrary to everything else I've said, this one is easier to score without air rolling. So there is a time not to. Like, I can score this one pretty consistently without air rolling. But if I air roll, it's much harder. Okay, I actually did it this time. <laughs> Yeah, in the past I've actually struggled air rolling on this shot more than not. Zarya main, by the way, thanks to the prime sub. But yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of different air rolls you can do, but the most most common one is just to um, flip your car upside down as fast as possible because it gets you around the ball a bit more easily in some situations, like this. Yeah, you can make your recovery smoother. So, for example, if I'm like going for a shot here, notice how my car is very easily landing on the back wall and I'm also driving away in the correct direction um, because I can hit the shot and then just tiny air roll and I'm landing and I'm also recovering. Whereas if you hit it like this, like it might be harder to land in the correct orientation. It's actually also harder to just simply hit the shot, I would say. But yeah, it's not as clean. <laughs> this is definitely harder to land clean because we're air rolling the raw or we're having to lean into the ball in the wrong direction. Harder to land clean. Well, bitrate drive stream at the max. I think it's 6k for Twitch allow. 
Oh, look at that read. What a double touch. Shrub killer, thanks for the six month Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, man. Can't tier three right now, but hey, here don't worry is my about free it. sub. I knew thanks the ball was gonna the arrive there. That was on purpose. Wanna do one of your replays? I only reviewed tier three uh, subs because I have a lot of them. Still waiting on reviews. Would you say that those who do continuous air roll are doing it for flair, maybe making it harder? Is it ineffectual? Um, I think that some people who like continuously air roll are just either so confident that they're hitting the ball anyway that it doesn't even matter. Like they may as well be air rolling, uh, like air rolling in a straight line because they're just this confident, or um, they just took off and they're like, "Oh my goodness, I flew the wrong way. Okay, I got to air roll to recover here." Like, what if you fly off the wrong way? You're like, "Oh, okay, let me get back over to the ball. Oh, I'm still going the wrong way," and then you just end up spinning a lot to try and get to the ball. Like here, I deliberately flew off in the wrong direction to show you what I mean. But a lot of times I find myself continually air rolling. I'm like, whoops, I need to go that way. Oh, I need to go this way. You know, you're just like trying desperately to turn around as quickly as possible. And actually, if you're flying this way, the fastest way to turn to the right is not to steer to the right. It's to air roll to the right like this. You want to lean back and turn like this. See, much like that. Much faster turn to the right than just steering to the right will. After I've done my fast aerial, I'm just going to steer full on to the right. See how where we end up compared to this. It's a faster turn. You just you turn quicker. That's why people do it. It's the fastest way to like steer to the right or steer to the left midair. Yeah, and it does make it harder to read if you're air rolling constantly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that most people just do it because it's adaptable. It's like. Um, Gives you a lot more options when you're in the air. If you're air rolling, and you're flying it upside down. You can actually, uh, you know, slow down, speed up, lean a bit further right to the ball, or um, not if you're so inclined, or just you know, freestyle a shot for no reason because you're this confident. I'm not. I can't freestyle. Can't freestyle and read corners at the same time. I actually am not just trusting myself to read this, but if I'd boosted more on a lot of these shots, I would have had it there. Let's see, there we go. Easy peasy, first try. Yeah, I'll do more 2v2 internationals at some point. Hit diamond, grants, dude. Spooky planet, well done. You lean into ball to try and change how you're hitting it. What follows you holding that turn and spinning away? Literally zero control, same thing. Yeah, some people have that problem where they end up like, uh, you know, they'll lean into the ball to hit it, and then they're like, Oh, now I'm, now I'm also, I'm going to follow through with that air roll, and bang! You're just, you know, landing on the back wall in the worst possible way, because you forget to, you know, think one step ahead. Like, you got to think about the shot and the landing after the shot. All the time. Always be thinking about, okay, yes, I'm hitting the ball here, but I'm also landing on the back wall afterwards. So let's make sure we do that on our wheels in a direction that's useful. We're actually over this. Oh, I'm hitting it way too fast. There we go. Lozzy RL, thanks for the prime sub. Appreciate it, man. And also maximum effort with the tier one. Welcome. Yeah, it's a cool pack this one. I'll link it in the in the chat for you guys to try. Wayport Whey, Whey Protein makes a lot of cool uh, training packs. But this one is really good for practicing air roll aerials. Air roll aerials. So you don't obviously you have to air roll for any of these aerials. You can just steer and still hit them. Actually I did air roll there. Air roll there as well. Uh yeah, you can do it with only steering. But you'll find that if you do air roll, you'll feel a lot more confident hitting the shots, more power, more accuracy, and just like more consistency as well. I think of a speed flip. What do you mean? What is this speed flip? Oh, I was trying to get a flip reset there. How did I not get a flip reset on that? It's 
It's hard to freestyle flip reset rebound if you're actually a Rocket League caster and not a freestyler. Oh yeah, the speed flip. Are people actually doing this in like competitive or anything right now? To kick off now. Oh yeah, I saw that, but it looks super easily counterable if your opponent has any brain cells and changes their kickoff one time in a game. Like some people will go into 1v1 and they'll do the exact same kickoff start to finish. They won't change it at all, which is pretty silly. Unless you're just, you know, obviously if you're if you're just trying to practice that kickoff and see what it, how good it does against other kickoffs, then fair enough. But if you're expecting to win 1v1 with the same kickoff start to finish, you're in the wrong game mode. How am I supposed to do this one? Weird shot. Obviously you don't have to fly up into the air immediately. Um, but I want to. What do I want to do here? Double touch this or something. I want to hit it vertically. Yeah, like this. And then double touch it. That's how you do it. Got to think about more hitting the ball up into the air rather than back towards the goal. Just I'm trying to hit it up there, then worry about the double touch after. Get a reset. I'll just I'll do the double touch for now. I've missed. And you really do boost quite far away from the ball with the strategy I'm talking about. If you like boost it all away from it. Training packs are free play from improving mechanics. Um, well, some mechanics are hard to train in free play because it's difficult to get the setup at certain levels. Like air roll aerials are a good example. It's difficult to get the setup to actually do an aerial air roll aerial in uh, in free play. But in uh, training packs, you don't have to worry about the setup because the training pack does it for you. So you can actually just focus 100% on the mechanics of it. But, um... How am I missing this ball? It's a weird one. This is a really weird one. I need to just be more in field, I guess. Because I keep thinking, okay, I'm hitting that, and then I miss. <laughs> Must be getting tired, because this is insane. I'm just like, I feel like I'm hitting the ball. I'm like, oh yeah, the ball's sitting in front of my car, and then it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just leaning back too far, I guess. Gotta let the ball come down to me rather than trying to go up to it. Yeah, that'll be the difference maker. Saved. Yeah, that's the trick. Okay. Learn something there. On this kind of read, I'm like leaning back too far. Ending up above the ball. I want to get a screamer top corner, though. Oh, man. Probably have to like air roll side onto it to get a top corner boomer. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. And now it's just a blurry mess to me. Like I feel like I'm so tired that this is just a blurry mess. I can't even see anything but a blur. All I see is uh, a kind of painting with a ball in the middle. It appears to be stationary because it's a um, ball cam. Yeah, this is the kind of thing you can't really do in free play because the setup is going to take too long, you know? Here's a pretty good example of like the difference that air rolling into the ball can make though with your shot. Really does make it a lot more powerful. Oh, I flew the wrong way. Then if you just fly into it normally, if you like air roll into it last second, it goes much harder. Wait, is the next shot the same thing from the other side? Because I want to do that as well. Have you tried being a Dominus? 
Yeah, that would improve my uh, air rolling percentage significantly. Oh, that's not the same shot at all. This is incredibly slower. What a landing. It's the time. Yeah, I'm gonna head off in a few minutes, guys. It's almost three in the morning. These shots are actually all easier. Well, this one and the last one are easier if you wait longer. Um, but that's not usually good practice, even in free training or um, what do you call it? A replay or a, not? Not replay. Like a training pack like this, it's probably a good idea to try and go quickly at the ball because in games you're not going to have the luxury of waiting. You have to go fast. Oh, where's this going? Looking like a double touch to me. Don't leave, but I have to sleep so I can record tomorrow. I knew that was going to be an easy read. Not a problem. I read those all the time. Not an issue. What is this? <laughs> Why is this shot like this? We have to double touch this one as well. I have to go quite fast to get a double touch on this. Oh. Ah, I always hit it too low. Okay, that's a Jesse double touch. How long is the wait on replay analysis? It really depends. I mean, there's not actually that many people in the queue right now, so I should be able to get um, all of the people who are currently tier 3 subbed done before RLCS happens. But uh, yeah, I try and get through them as quickly as I can, but right now I'm super busy recording with um, oh, assault mine stuff. So it's not easy, but yeah, I try. Could be anything from like two weeks to two months, I would say. Wait time. Okay, there we go. I did it. Squashed it in. What are you going to record tomorrow? Hopefully three Salt Mine series. Maybe two. You're doing great. I'm trying my best, man. Thanks to the vote of confidence, though. Oh, well, that's a boomer. Uh, hey, Satsuki. I'm going to head off right now, actually. Um... Gonna head off right now because it's too late. I wanna get. I'm gonna procrastinate and take way too long. Uh, but you are currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're eighth in the queue. Um, is this guy GC? Not currently, but I have been several times. I'm actually not even ranked right now because I don't. I haven't played Rocket League uh, in ages. Well, long enough that all my ranks have reset. But usually, if I'm just messing around with my friends, having fun, not really tryharding, I'll be champ 3. And then if I try hard, I'll be grand champ. That's pretty much how it goes every single season. Easy double touch here as well, of course. Not an issue. I don't know how you can safely double touch this one. Gotta get some mad height on the ball, actually. Oh, I thought I was going to fly into it after it hit the bar. Big brain plant mechanics, say. Hey. Some of my mechanics are definitely plat. But, one time, I played a 2v2 game with Torbjorn, aka Doofy. And I scored a half volley from my own defensive corner wall. And he said it was the best clear he'd ever seen. I was like, thank you. You know, I have my moments. But yeah, that'll probably be like the highlight of my game. It's just like a big clear that goes top corner. Um, that's more what I try and do. I just try and like 
absolutely boom the ball into the goal. Or I try and like dribble people. I like dribbling people. I like slamming the ball into the goal. I don't actually gain that much enjoyment from flying up into the air and, uh, you know, trying to do things that are not going to work most of the time. What time is it for me? It's coming on like quarter to... Oh, this is definitely a double touch right here. I mean, when I said that, I meant a uh, bounce shot into the ceiling. Uh, it's coming on the quarter to three in the morning. Ah, here we go. No, it bounced down. Definitely double touchable though. I oh, put it too low. Overcorrection. Yeah, I definitely read this very regularly. Wait. I do read this. I told you. I knew, I knew that I read that most of the time. That's why I went for it. Not sure about that one. Same, same. Yeah. We got all excellent legibility in chat. Oh, get out of here. That's actually a boomer, though. Even though it's not a double touch, it is a boomer. Here, what the play really would be would be the air dribble into double touch. That is also a boomer. Oh yes, this is this is a goal. Oh, never mind. Yes, this is the one. Here we go. No, I keep on misreading the corner wall. Oh, for goodness sake. Getting there too soon. Uh, uh, too much forward momentum. Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect. Perfecto. No! Oh, come on! These are tap-ins. What am I doing? What decal is that? It's, um... What's it called? Future Shock or something? But I made the primary and the secondary colors the exact same, so it looks like a different decal altogether. See, the colors are the same. Only works with very few colors. Oh, I don't believe this. I'm so bad at re or reading this wall, I guess. Oh, I can read the ceiling though. Ah! Oh! Thought I was going to get the triple touch off the ceiling and the wall. Determined to double touch this. Determined. It's not going to happen though, because I keep on flying so far to the side before... <laughs> before getting the first touch. So I have like way too much forward momentum. There we go. <laughs> not enough, uh, not too much forward momentum there. 17%. There you go, that's aerial aerials everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Um, oh, thank you Kingspector. I look for some Johnny new and all of chat have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Enjoy your holiday. See you soon, 3 cheer 250 also grim for sword. <laughs> yeah, do we need more swords? It's pretty quiet tonight. Like, it's good to have responsible and helpful people in chat who are not um, mods, because then it creates a good example for other people who are not mods.